Hi there, this is Galeazzo Food again and we are here for another video on guitar setup and this one is an amazing one because it's about adjusting the American standard Stratocaster tremor, the two pivots one but I promise I will do that for a 6 use version as well later on for floating tremolo performance so this one is dedicated to all of us that now has a fixed bridge on the Stratocaster because I don't want you know to approach the bridge but I fear to do that and want to have you know floating performance we will learn everything about this let's go there are basically three ways of adjusting the tremolo of a Stratocaster and using it one is that the bridge is totally fixed on the guitar top and you know you can't use, you use it just as a fixed bridge. The second one is that the tremolo is laid on the guitar top, but you can move it, you know, downward this way. So you cannot move it upward, but you can move it downward. And the third one is that the tremolo is floating, just like as you see here. So today we will cover a very simple and uh, easy and effective way to set up the Stratocaster to pivots bridge in a floating way with the correct notes interval that you should achieve while pulling the arm that way. What we want to achieve here is that we have one step and a half on the G, uh, one step full step on the B and half step on the E. Because this will allow you to replicate some of most, the most famous, you know, phrases and licks of the, some of the most important guitar players. So to do this, we will use um, a, a very quick method that I invented, you know, that makes everything easy and effective. Because remember that the goal of this video, as like the hour video I made, is to give you a total knowledge of how your guitar uh, works for you to be sure that when you put your hand on the guitar you always know where you are and what we will come up with first of all take a caliper just like this one and make a note of how high are your uh, high E and low E string here so if by adjusting the bridge the action will rise a bit you can always easily return to your actual um, action Remove the uh, rear uh, springs plate, the plastic one, this one, by using a screwdriver. Remember, every time you use a screwdriver, check that the, that the screwdriver perfectly fits the screw, so you won't damage this one. Now, when you have removed the rear springs plate, take the, another correct screwdriver for the bolts that hold the springs and tighten them at least, you know, 10, 11 times, this way. Now what we want to achieve at, at this very moment is that the rear part of the bridge plate, as you see here, yeah, let me show this one to you, touches the guitar top, this way, you see here. If bolting the screws on the back wasn't enough to touch the, 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 the guitar top, you can release some tension here from the tuners, you know, this way. You untune the guitars till you see that, you know, the bridge plate is touching the guitar top in this portion, this the rear uh, of, the, of the tremolo plate. Now, as we are working at home, you know, and we want, you know, to make things relax and very easy for everyone, so everyone can understand and perform his own setup in total relax and knowledge. So, oh, I choose for you these two pieces of, you know, paper sheets. We call it post-it in Italy. Uh, I think they, you know, you can find them almost everywhere in the world. Uh, you know, I just, you know, they come in a very high layer, just some multicolored layer, just like this one. But uh, I choose one with this is a piece of about four millimeters, and this one is a piece of about, I think, six millimeters, you know. And we will use this for the whole operation. Now, take the tremolo arm, put it in, into the bridge plate, and then take a piece of this, you know, small uh, paper sheet and, you know, choose an amount of layer thickness that allows when you put it under the bridge plate here like this that allows the bridge plate let me show you this this way to be perfectly parallel for the whole length to the guitar top just like you know for example this way if your bridge plate is already parallel to the top or maybe touching for the whole length you 
just keep this passage. Okay, with the guitar this way, all you have to do now, you know, I know it's crazy simple for something that normally usually takes one whole afternoon, we will do that in a second. You know, you, know you, you, you just have to tune the G string to pitch. This way. You, you don't care about the other strings, how they are tuned or not, you don't care in this, you know, very moment. Just tune the G string to pitch this way, you know, then remove this post-it papers here and all you have to do is lower the arm till you see that this G string that we tuned a few moments ago is an E this way and you take another piece you know of uh, uh, post-it papers and you choose you know an amount of layers that allow you to keep you know the E tuned so this is sharp you put some more here let's see Okay, this is an E, you can check it there. You don't care about if this is, you know, absolutely perfect or not, but it's okay, it's an E, you know? Let's remove one, for example, and see if it gets better. Okay, this way. Now tune the whole guitar. Tune it to pitch, perfectly to pitch. Check it one more time. Okay, that's fine. All you have to do is now remove this piece of, you know, post-it papers. The guitar will totally be out of tune and you Da -da -da -da, tune it using the springs on the back here. This one. You release them till you see that the tuner is the tuning is perfect. Let me show this one, this thing to you. Take away the tremolo arm from its place, take the correct skew driver, and you know if you remember how many turns you made, do it that on the other side, parallel this bolt with this bolt a turn each one so let's try for example something like this all we have to do is release the spring tension till we see that the guitar is back in tune without you know uh, without touching the tuners anymore let's try now for example put the guitar this way and check the, the the G. The G is a bit flat, so we release them a bit too much, so we do some kind of two strikes, let's call them strikes, uh, clockwise, check them again, just a little bit, one strike back, let's see now. Okay, the G is tuned, let's check the other ones. The E is tuned, the A is tuned, the D is tuned, the G is still tuned, the B is tuned, and the E is tuned. What will happen now is that if we put the tremolo arm back in its position, and we, you know, let me show you this with the camera, and we rise the tremolo arm this way, we will have the perfect intervals that we uh, looked for. So on the G, we will have one step and a half. On the B, we will have one full step. And on the E, we will have one uh, half of a step. And this is it. You now have, you know, in a few seconds, perfectly set up the tremolo for floating performance on your Stratocaster. If you have experience that after the setup, the action has risen, suppose that you are, you started with the, you know, the, with a tremolo that was laying on the guitar or parallel to the guitar, and 
you know, by having this kind of, you know, uh, range amount, you actually rise the action a bit. You just take a um, Philips screwdriver, you put it in here inside, be sure that you use one that perfectly fits the, um, uh, the cut on the screw and the post, and then you simply turn it clockwise this way, half of the turn, till you get to original uh, action height that you had. Thanks a lot for staying with me again for this new video about uh, setting up a tremolo for best floating performance. Hope you like this one. Of course, if you have any comment, if you have any you know message you want, any question you want to send to me, you have several emails. You can uh, PM me to the YouTube uh, you know message uh, email. And yeah, hope you like this one. Enjoy playing the Stratocaster. It's a fantastic guitar. Ciao, bye.